So how are you guys doing? I'm Chris Ignato and today I'm going to be talking to you about death feigning beetles. Pretty interesting. Now death feigning beetles are actually... I'm clumsy. Now death feigning beetles are actually a type of darkling beetle. They're also known as desert ironclad beetles. And I'll show you why, maybe. Here's one right here. So here we go. They're called death feigning beetles because when disturbed, sometimes they play dead, as this one might be doing. They'll go over on their back and just sit there, sometimes hours, sometimes days. And that's one of their forms of defense. But another form of defense on the death feigning beetles is the fact that they, uh, they have extremely tough exoskeletons. They actually excrete a waxy substance that protects them pretty much from heat. Now this waxy secretion actually helps prevent them from dehydrating because they are desert creatures. But it actually helps protect them from high amounts of heat. So that's actually pretty cool. Uh, they will feed on carrion and we keep this one we actually have several of them. We keep them with the desert scorpion. Now if you look, that one's fairly whitish. Okay, that's the wax. It actually turned blue at times. Now if they get wet, they'll get dark. If they're moist, they'll actually be dark like this and can stay that way for a couple of weeks until they dry out. But normally out in the wild, that waxy secretion will form a bluish tinge to their body. And they excrete it all across their body. It's pretty impressive stuff. They do feed on, like I said, carrion and scraps. Parts of uh, what's left over from the crickets after the scorpion eats them and including and they actually feed on the feces and scat from uh, the scorpion and stuff, so it's pretty funny. These are really neat insects. They can live many years. There was one pet owner that had one for 15 years, but they generally live around eight years, give or take. Um, just great lifespans, very hardy creatures. They can handle extremes of temperature variations, you know, hot and cold. Really easy to keep. You can actually buy these for about $10 a piece. Um, and they live, as I said, they live a long time and they're very easy to take care of. You don't need to water them because they get their moisture from their environment and from their food. Look at the difference between these two. Now, when they play dead, they literally lay on their back like that for hours on end. And then when they feel like it, they just get up and walk away when they feel it's safe. But they're very patient. Very patient creatures indeed. Now the scorpion tolerates them just fine. And uh, they tolerate the scorpion fine. As I said, they really have really tough exoskeletons, hence the name desert ironclad beetle. And as I said, they're a type of darkling beetle, but they don't excrete any toxins or noxious chemicals. So their defense is primarily able to play dead and that very tough skeleton, exoskeleton, that very tough shell, okay? What an incredible species of creature. Just a whole lot of fun. Okay, so there you have it, the death feigning beetles, also known as the desert ironclad beetle. Really cool creature, not the longest video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. So once again, I'm Chris Ignato, thanks a lot for watching, signing out.